Welcome in, Sledge here. Today we're going to discuss optimizing your solar panels. Large solar panels are pretty trivial with the changes they made in best directions and positions to place them. This video will save you a lot of stress. But before we start, if you can do me a solid and like this video and subscribe, it would help me out tremendously as I continue uploading more helpful guides for rust. Now let's jump in. First off, consider north and south as being your main directions you want to place your panels. If you don't want to get into the details, north's your way to go for the wipe. If you want the explanation, well, stick around. Let's run the basics. I've set up a few scenarios for solar panels and their placement. This is based on midday on the first day of any wipe. As you can see, the panel facing north outputs the full 20 power, but the south facing panel only produces two power. Of course, as the day passes by, the amounts of each panel will vary. But on this day, north facing panels will receive the most power total. Here's another panel that's also facing north. As you can see, it's creating less power. This is because damaged solar panels produce less power. Be sure to repair them if you notice some pesky player was messing with them. Or if you pick them up and reset them, they will lose a little bit of health. They can easily be repaired at a repair bench, or you can left click with a hammer and some high quality metal. The last example is a solar panel that would never work with your base. If the panel is blocked by your building in any way, it will bring in little to no power. As the day passes, the shadows shift and will ultimately affect your total power. So be mindful of this. Now to get into the factors that change placement of panels throughout a wipe. Rust used to have a system where you'd use the center of the map as the sun, where you'd face the panels inward towards center to create the most power. That has since changed. So if you've seen videos on that explanation, scratch them from your memory. Here's a new system in effect. Rust is based on a monthly system starting mid-May during wipe. A full wipe is roughly 28 days, and with that, the wipe passes a 12-month cycle. To my knowledge, if your map wipes bi-weekly, you only pass through roughly 6 of the 12 months. This is congruent for all wipe arrangements. Now, feel free to pause the video on this image, but here's the average draw a panel will receive during each day of your wipe in both the north and south directions. Credit goes to Austin who took the time to run a wipe and mark changes as time passed. As you can see from the graphic, a majority of the time north brings in the most power. That being said, you can typically just leave panels facing north, unless you want to spend the time swapping these. For a more detailed breakdown, this graphic shows on what days in real time or IRL that you should swap your panels. Be sure to remember wipes start in May, not January. Again, I feel it's very tedious to swap directions among other tasks within Rust, but if you want to be getting the best bang for your panels, this chart is super helpful. All in all, that's what you need to know to best optimize your large solar panels in the wild world of Rust. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Wishing you the best until next time. See you later, skaters.